Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Charlie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious German chocolate cake from scratch. This recipe can serve between 14 to 22 people and is perfect for just about any occasion, whether if it's for the holidays or even for any type of party you may have. This recipe can even be made into a birthday cake. That's right. So let's get started. Here is all what you will need to make your German chocolate cake. You will need some all-purpose flour, sugar, brown sugar, baking powder, baking soda, two pounds of unsalted butter at room temperature, eggs at room temperature, sour cream at room temperature, eight ounces of German's sweet baking chocolate, unsweetened cocoa, instant coffee, vanilla extract, two cans that's 24 fluid ounces of evaporated milk, 16 ounces of chopped pecans, 14 ounces of sweetened flake coconut, cornstarch, and you will need some confectioner sugar. To bake your German chocolate cake, you will need some Baker's Joy nonstick baking spray and two 9 inch round cake pans. For your additional tools, you will need a disposable piping bag as well as a decorating comb and a coupler and a Wilton number 21 tip. And there we have it. Add two 1 fourth cup of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Sift all the ingredients into a medium sized bowl. Stir all your ingredients together. In our stand mixer with the paddle attachment, add two sticks of unsalted butter softened and at room temperature, one cup of sugar, and one one fourth cup of brown sugar. Start your mixer on a medium low speed just to get that butter and sugar incorporated. Turn your mixer up to the highest setting. Mix the butter and sugar on high speed for four minutes. Now at some point during those four minutes, you're going to stop your mixer and scrape down the sides of your bowl. And continue mixing that in. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. Now we're going to add three eggs in one at a time. We're going to start our mixer on a medium speed. Add the first egg in. Mix until combined. Add the second egg in. Mix until combined. Add the third egg in, mix until combined, scrape down the sides of your bowl, add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, mix until combined, Here I have 4 ounces of baking chocolate chopped into cubes, 
We're going to take this and place this in the microwave and heat this on high for one minute. And this is how it looks when we're done. We're going to stir the chocolate until it becomes nice and smooth. Once done, let this come to room temperature. Here I have one third cup of hot water at one tablespoon of instant coffee. Give that a quick stir. Once done, let this come to room temperature. Now if you don't want to use the coffee, add one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder and you'll be all set. Now we're going to alternate the all-purpose flour mixture with the sour cream mixture. Add one cup of all-purpose flour mixture and one third cup of sour cream. Mix all ingredients on medium speed until combined. Add one one fourth cup of all purpose flour mixture, one third cup of sour cream. And your melted baking chocolate. Make sure that baking chocolate is at room temperature. Mix all ingredients on medium speed until combined. Add your coffee mixture. Now remember that's one third cup of coffee. Mix all ingredients on medium speed until combined. And that is it. Our German chocolate cake batter is now ready. Spray your 9 inch round baking pans with non-stick baking spray. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Add your German chocolate cake batter into your 9 inch round baking pans. Do this as evenly as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect. Spread your German chocolate cake batter around your pans as evenly as possible. To make the batter more even, shake each pan slightly. And also tap it as well. Now it is ready to be baked. Place into a preheated 325 degree oven. Bake for 35 minutes. Remove your German chocolate cake out of the oven after baking on 325 degrees for 35 minutes. You're going to do a toothpick test and it should come out clean. Now you're going to let these cakes cool completely. Once they've cooled completely, place it in your refrigerator for 30 minutes. Let's make the chocolate buttercream. Add two sticks of unsalted butter softened and at room temperature and one one half cups of confectioner sugar. Mix all ingredients on a medium low speed until combined. Scrape down the sides of your mixing bowl. 
add one cup of confectioner sugar and one third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Mix all ingredients on a medium low speed until combined. Here I have four ounces of sweet baking chocolate. We're gonna take this and place this in the microwave on high for one minute. You're gonna stir the chocolate until the chocolate is creamy and smooth. Now once done, you're gonna let this come to room temperature. Scrape down the sides of your mixing bowl. Add your melted baking chocolate. Mix all ingredients on a medium low speed until combined. Scrape down the sides of your bowl. As you can see, this frosting is pretty thick. We're going to thin that out some. Add two tablespoons of evaporated milk and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Mix all ingredients on a medium low speed until the mixture is creamy and smooth. And that is it. Our chocolate frosting is now ready. Here I have two and a half cups of evaporated milk in a medium sized bowl. Add one fourth cup of cornstarch. Using a whisk, stir all your ingredients together. Here I have two and a half cups of chopped pecans. We're going to take our knife and we're just going to chop those larger pieces of pecans down. Preheat your fire to medium high heat. In a medium sized pot, add your evaporated milk cornstarch mixture. One three fourth cup of brown sugar and six tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. Stir all your ingredients together. You're going to let this come to a slight simmer first, then you're going to let it simmer for seven minutes. Now, you want to continue to stir this for the entire seven minutes until the mixture has thickened. It's been about seven minutes now and as you can see our mixture has thickened. And as you take a look at that ball pattern that's exactly what you're looking for. Okay? Add two and a half cups of your sweetened flake coconut and two and a half cups of your chopped pecan. Stir all your ingredients together. You're going to let this simmer for four minutes. It's been about four minutes now, and our coconut pecan frosting is now done. I'm going to turn your fire off. Now, for the final step, add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Stir all your ingredients together. Now as this cools, it will thicken. Okay? So you're going to let this come to room temperature. And you can also do this ahead of time. Maybe like one or two days before you frost your cake. You can make this ahead of time. Okay? Here we have our two layers of German chocolate cake. We're going to take this and remove this out of the pan. 
now that we removed it out of the pan we're going to take a sharp knife and we're going to trim the top portion of the cake off now we're going to remove that top portion off of the cake sorry y'all making a little mess and this is how it looks when we're done as you can see we trimmed off the top edge and here we have some crumbs you can take those crumbs and you can add it onto the side of the cake or you can eat it here we have a cake pad you can find these at your local grocery store I'm gonna take a small amount of the chocolate buttercream and I'm just gonna place it onto the cake pad and now we're going to add the first layer of cake on top of there and you're just gonna press it down now this is to prevent the cake from sliding okay here we have my disposable piping bag and here's the coupler I'm just going to take that and slide that to the front of the bag and I make sure that fits all the way in there now you can take the number 21 tip from Wilton and just put that in place and just screw the washer in place and there you have it now we're going to take some of our chocolate buttercream and we're going to place it into the piping bag now we're going to pipe a border around the first layer of chocolate cake just going to go all around the edge of the cake now we're going to add our coconut pecan frosting add as much as you like Now we're going to take a spatula and we're just going to spread that on top of the first layer of German chocolate cake as evenly as possible. Now we're going to add the second layer of cake on top of that. And you just want to press down slightly to seal the layers. Now I'm going to take a small amount of the chocolate buttercream and I'm going to add that onto the sides of my chocolate cake. Now this first step is the crumb coat and this is to prevent the cake crumbs from getting onto the frosting. Now that we're finished applying the crumb coat we're going to take this and place this into our refrigerator for 30 minutes. Now I'm going to take some more chocolate buttercream and I'm going to add that onto the sides of my chocolate cake. Now this step is called the final coating. make sure that you are smoothing out that frosting as you are putting it onto the sides of your German chocolate cake okay we finished adding the final coat now we're going to take our decorating comb and we're going to glide that along the side of the cake Add your coconut pecan frosting on top of your second layer of German chocolate cake. Add as much as you like. Take your spatula and spread the coconut pecan frosting onto the top layer of your German chocolate cake as evenly as possible. Now we're going to take some of our chocolate buttercream, make sure you're using the Wilton number 21 tip. And we're going to pipe that along the bottom edge of our German chocolate cake. Just want to apply pressure slightly. And you're going to go all the way around the cake with this. Now for the top decoration you can just take and add a border around it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some circular swirls. I'm just going to go all around the edge of the cake with this. And this is how it looks when we're done. Here's the final presentation. As you can see, I cut you a slice to show you how it looks on the inside. And there you have it. German chocolate cake made from scratch. 
If you like my channel, you can subscribe to it. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes as well as contact me or donate to the channel. Visit www.charliecookandrews.com You can also like, follow, or contact me on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Ah, now it's time for Charlie's Taste Test. Yes. Ow. Oh my goodness, look at that. Mm. Mm-hmm. The cake is nice, moist, crumbly, chocolatey. And then you have the flavor from that chocolate icing that we have. I mean, oh, it just makes it even more chocolatey. Then you have that coconut pecan frosting. Mm. Very, very good. Mm. I'm telling y'all. This recipe is going to please anybody for any occasion, whether if it's during a holiday or a birthday party. Amazing. So, give the recipe a try. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, take care, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.